With the Resident Evil 4 remake being the hot topic in the Resident Evil community right now, with all these videos and leaks coming front, I thought I'd share my thoughts on what I think the final product of the game is going to end up looking like. So let's get right into the video, shall we? The first thing I'm going to say is that I think that the village section will be lengthened, because in the original game, it had like such a big part like of the plot, and it was the shortest section. I think they're gonna, like, lengthen it to be the longest part of the game. I, I think that would be, like, the best decision by Capcom. And I think that the island is not gonna be this big amount of action segments, but it's gonna be shortened and turned into a lab segment, sort of like the ending of Resident Evil 2 Remake and 3 Remake. Then are the cut enemies. That Well, the enemies that I think are gonna be cut. So I think JJ and the Novistador is gonna be cut. Mostly because no one gives a shit about any of them. They're just like parts of the game nobody wants to go through. They're just like, just get to the end. Deal with these shitty ass enemies. And since the game is coming to PS4, they have to get rid of some things, right? Shorten the island, take away JJ and the Vista doors. No one's gonna notice. Then are the boss battles that I think are gonna be cut. First of all, those, like that, that boss battle with the two giants in the castle, Complete bullshit. The fuck was that? Had no rele like relevance in anything. And then I also think that U3 slash it, not the clown, U3, is going to be cut because they uh, had no relevance in the story. Then are the stalker enemies. I think there's going to be a stalker enemy for each part of the game, like the village, the castle, and the island. For the village, it's pretty obvious that it's going to be Mendez from the trailer. And in the castle... Okay, here's my thoughts on the stock for the castle. Tons of people were saying that it could have been Zal Salazar's right hand. But they're literally the speed of sound. They're going to catch up to you. Now, unless Capcom like doesn't make them as fast as the speed of sound and they chase Leon around, I think they should be a little faster than Leon. Sort of like Jack, so that you're encouraged to hide from them. That would be pretty cool. And if not them, I think the knights could be pretty cool for like a part of the castle for them to be chasing you. Then for the island. I know I said U3 should be a cut boss battle, but I think he could be like pretty cool as a stalker. Like he escaped from the lab where they, they were doing an experiment on like a villager and it ended up going completely wrong. And sort of like that, so that gives more context, and he would be a really cool stalker enemy. And the last thing, will Luis die? I think he will, but I think he'll die like Ada at the end of at the end of the Resident Evil 2 remake. Like he'll die at the end of the game. He'll get the sample, and then he'll be like he'll about to. He's gonna give it to Leon, and then Sadler kills him, and then it commences into a boss battle. I think that would be pretty cool. Thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, leave a like and tell me in the comments how you think the game will end up looking like. If you haven't already, subscribe because I'm trying to get to 500 subscribers by Halloween. And so is my friend Beagle's Battles, so check him out too. And uh, yeah, that was the end of the video. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.